U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken held talks with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi in Washington, the first such face-to-face -face dialogue in recent years. On Friday, U.S. President Joe Biden met with Wang to underscore the need to manage U.S.-China competition responsibly. Officials from the two countries discussed a range of issues, including Israel's war with Hamas, Russia's war on Ukraine, the fentanyl crisis, and the South China Sea. Washington has called on China to use its influence over Iran to prevent a Middle East escalation. We know China has relationships with a number of countries in the region, and we would urge them to use those relationships, the lines of communications they have, to urge calm and stability. Um, we don't think that increased stability benefits the United States. It doesn't benefit China. It certainly doesn't benefit the people of the region. For his part, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang said China is willing to cooperate with the United States to manage differences. China and the United States need to have dialogue. Not only should we resume dialogue, the dialogue should be in-depth and comprehensive, so that with dialogue we can increase mutual understanding, reduce misunderstanding and misjudgment. But some U.S. lawmakers question China's continuing alignment with Russia and Iran. It should be a wake-up call to the West. Um, increasingly, it looks like we have an axis of authoritarian powers that are arrayed against our interests and those of our allies. China is the dominant player in this partnership. Uh, Vladimir Putin is a junior partner. Uh, but increasingly, there's collaboration with Iran. During the talks with Wang, Biden and Blinken also expressed condolences on the pacing of China's former Premier Li Keqiang, who died earlier on Friday. Nike Chin, VOA News, Washington.